Travel time, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Outdoor Greatness. In order to get to Outdoor Greatness, we have so many miles to cover the greatest adventure I've ever known besides these two right here. These two have been my greatest life mm. adventure. You just know what to say. Especially you, sweet pea. She's ready to send you off. But daddy is going away for a long time. It's like daddy's going to prison. Yeah, we were just talking about this. Like, I think this is one of your longest trips. I don't think it's going to be as long as the, the South America situation because I went to Mexico and Brazil. That's true. And it was just quite the excursion. But this is going to be even more remote and more wild. Wish your daddy luck, sweet pea. Boop. I wonder, like, when you get back, I wonder if she's going to be, like, walking. She'll probably have another tooth, I think. Uh, honey, you can't say your first word and you can't walk. Okay, until I get back. If you do, I'm just going to have to punish you. Well, she's already said Dada and Mommy. Yeah, but it's not a gold medal status. Yeah, I mean, we're not going to be that family that's like, just go ahead and give her a, a plaque for saying Dad. She didn't really. I'm still proud of her, though, honey. Such goals high. OSG and Emmy are taking me to the airport. This journey involves two days of travel, so I'm leaving right now and i'm going to get to the airport I, my flight takes off about 5 30. i won't get to christchurch new zealand till two days later it's so weird like looking on my flight information so this by far is going to be the longest flight i've ever taken in fact doubles any flight i've ever taken and my buddy that i'm going with who you guys are going to meet if you're a long time lfg fan you've seen this cat he is uh he's a very very passionate hunter he's the one that invited me on this trip he's already left and he's got an even longer flight so i'm gonna get there before him he's got more layovers and stuff like that it's absolutely insane and then there's a whole nother adventure just to get to where we're going then we've got uh, like a half a day's drive. We've got a whole day's hike on foot just to get we're talking like four and a half days Just to just to get to where we're hunting. It is just absurd y'all. So the adventure starts right now Let's get to it. Got to make time for one last chick-fil-a stop. I Don't know if there's chick-fil-a in New Zealand, but Probably not. You don't think so? You don't think so? I would yeah. gamble to say no. You would gamble to say no. How much would you gamble? Are we taking bets here? A couple uh, hundred dollars. A couple hundred bucks? Yeah. Really? Uh -huh. Gosh, I kind of just I kind of just want to go against you and just hope <laughs> that there is. Because you want it or just because you want the tuna Because I want it and no, I'm, I'm just saying if you're a Kiwi out there, New Zealander, let me know if there are any Chick-fil-A's, even if there's one on the island. I feel like I'm if having deja be. vu about this. Really? Yeah. It was meant to be. Maybe. It's crazy. Did I kill a big goat and uh, come back and I was like, No, I just remember having this pack. conversation. Oh. With you like filming and everything. It's that kind of dream. It's okay. You've driven me to the airport for quite a few adventures, honey. I have, but you know what? I think you need to go on one of these one I day. Do. Like, we need to, as soon as Amy's old enough, we're go on something off. fun. We're just going to go and we're never coming back. Just kidding. We'll come back. You've been in like straight mom mode for a long time now. Mm -hmm. You need to get get out there and get a little crazy. Feel a little, you know, vulnerable out there in the wilderness. Make you feel more alive. I feel like this is right where I'm dropping you off. Is it? I don't even think this is close to my gate. You don't think so? Um, Let's keep going. Okay. All right. Just don't run anybody over. Don't need any casualties before I take off. Well, you know how cautious of a driver I am. You, you are saying? very cautious. You always got to plan for an extra 10 minutes in the car for OSG. Just add 10% on. She's, she takes her safety serious, and she should. You She's do. got little Emmy Bob back there. Ironically, though, I probably have the most tickets out of the both of us. It's back in your younger rebel days. Yeah. There's a whole rebel side of OSG I don't even know about. She went from, like, rebel to mom. Just bam! <laughs> I did. It happens. Zero to 60. Okay, sugar. Bye. Goodbye. Love you. Love you too. All right. Goodbye, Amy. Take care, mom. Don't be too sassy while I'm gone. Be shade. Okay. Love you. Love you too. And thank you for waiting. Air New Zealand now invites customers seated in rooms 51 through 61 to board now.
Just coming off over the 14 hour flight, y'all. But we are here in Auckland. We still have one more to go. This is an odd situation right here, y'all. So I got in here, I had to put all my stuff through, uh, through customs, and the things that they took were my boots, uh, they checked my food, and then they also have looked at my tent thoroughly. In fact, they told me to wait here by this door, and they gave me a little ticket, and they said just, just press this little button over here. Just press that, and I guess your tent comes through there. It says press the buzzer once. I, I already pressed it once. I don't know. I don't know how long I'm supposed to stay here. I keep pressing this button, but I dang sure need my tent for this trip. Such an odd, odd scenario. But they do take their wildlife very seriously. A lot of people come here to hike and climb. Uh, so they're checking boots, they're checking outdoor equipment. Uh, they check my knife. They asked me if I'd clean any animals with it. They're just trying to make sure that no bad germies are getting in to the New Zealand. Let's try it again. We're getting our first look here at a New Zealand morning. It was a peachy sky. I just texted staff, checked in with her. It is, I think, 1. 30 p.m. back in Texas and it's like 6 30 in the morning here so this is all new to me brand new experiences uh, looking at all these uh, these crazy cars too they're all so small their trucks are tiny look like a mix between a like a Subaru and something that tried to be a Tacoma or something like that <sighs> the air smells fresh here even at a, a crummy place I can't wait to get up in the mountains and feel it for real I'm excited y'all brand new it, it feels like you're just going on another planet, at least for me, because I haven't traveled very much. So we're the land of great outdoorness. I can tell we're really close to the ocean right now too. Just the humidity, the big clouds, feels good. It's like 62 degrees. We got to get away from all these, you know, different vehicles though. We got to get up into the mountains, experience real outdoor greatness. Anyways, we got one more flight to make, a uh, couple of hours till we got to be over there. I, I don't even have a watch. I just looked at my wrist and this is my cue to go right here. We are here in Christchurch and I'm waiting on my buddy JT. I can't wait for you guys to, to meet JT. Currently trying to find some internet that's halfway decent and I haven't been able to do that. I've edited two videos since I've been here in Christchurch and I'm trying to upload them somewhere. I think the plan is tonight we're going to stay in an Airbnb but I'm not really sure. I will say this, New Zealand, you are a beautiful one and I can't wait to get out there and explore. I've been trapped in vessels and, and inside buildings. I encountered no peanuts on this travel excursion and that is amazing. Thank you to uh, New Zealand Airlines and United for helping me out on my, my quest for a peanut free flight experience. Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived to the Airbnb. And that right there is a red dare. <laughs> and this right here is my red bearded friend. <laughs> What's up, buddy? John Thomas Earl Larkin, welcome back to the channel. Man. Do you remember we, the last video we filmed? Uh, I think night fishing. We did a night fishing video on Great. Oh, I forgot like about three that. years ago. Was that with the brightest lights ever? Yes, yes. The yeah. bright light night fishing video. That Not was a fun it. night. Yeah, it burned our retinas out. So yeah, before. we uh, <laughs> we only traveled what like thirty hours to meet up here. Uh, you traveled thirty something hours. <laughs> I traveled like twenty eight. You took the long way. Yeah, we're, we're going finally back here though. though. The digs here at the Airbnb in New Zealand. It's awful fancy. It's it's a lot fancier than what I was ex expecting. I don't, I'm not sure what's happening with the heads. Have you noticed the heads around here? <laughs> I've noticed like, Asian theme up here. The, the it's lantern? very multicultural. There's a Buddha Buddha thing happening out here, um, and we're about to head to a uh, what is it called? The literally like it's, the hunting. It's literally fishing called store. Hunting Fishing New Zealand. That's the name of the store. We have to turn the camera on and go see what's in yeah, the store. We've got to get some uh, fuel for our stoves, stuff like that. Weird mannequins. Hopefully that's. Nothing strange going on there. We got to introduce Miss Wendy. This is one of my favorite people. 
Miss Wendy. This is one of my I favorite people in the world. Legendary uh, cooker of, of elk or uh, moose, oh, moose hearts. Heart. Moose hearts. Yeah. Did you know that you still made the best meal I've ever had in my life? Wow. Well, <laughs> uh, I've been told. It is known. JT, he actually met Todd on a on a, on a moose, hunt. moose hunt. And Wendy. And, and Wendy. And uh, so that's the biggest animal you've ever taken with yeah. your bow. And this is probably going to be the most challenging. Yeah, and you can ask so Wendy well. how big that moose was because she helped us uh, quarter. Like how it big up is a moose it? heart, really? How uh, big is a moose heart? It's and like did a you eat it all? Roast. Yeah. yeah. Did you feel like uh, Daenerys Stormborn eating the heart in Game of Thrones when I, you were? I don't watch Game of Thrones. So I what? I don't know. You're I guess I should have downloaded it before my 30-hour flight. Lee, I cannot believe that. Can't believe I'm hunting with you. And as you guys can see, the uh, the traffic flow is the opposite direction than what we're used to. It's my first time in the city with the car. And Miss Wendy's from Can Canada. One of my favorite places to fish. Starting route to hunting and fishing. Beautiful trees. So great. It's so weird. All these trees are losing their leaves, and all ours are just growing them. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, it's amazing. That is a park in New Zealand. In Look at lane. that. That is amazing. Got a place to practice golf. You got rugby fields. In 400 meters. Scooters! If they came to America and saw our parks, like just our average park, it'd be super disappointed. It'd be very this. disappointing for them. It's going to be so romantic up there in the mountains, JT. Because you'll be huddling together to stay warm. That's why I got a nice red bearded man partner. Well, that's a cricket. Got two nice red bearded mm -hmm. man partners with Todd. He's probably a little that's more like warm the than me. Field. Well, that's a cr cricket field. Cricket. Nice. Look at these handsome fellers and ladies here. Everyone's so fit and in shape on these billboards in real life, actually. Wagers that there's any have, fishing freaks in here? I've at the hunting and fishing store. Huh. I've always looked for one of those. Look at that. What is this? Is this a red deer that's. Well, that's a fallow. Real excited right there. Ah! Oh, I'm clean. He is, he's a man with a tar. He looks like Jon Snow right there. Look at all the heads on the wall over there. The different fauna. It's amazing. Tons of fishing stuff too. If we were here for a little bit longer, we'd be doing some brown trouts. Getting on that egg game. Look at the tiny little sunbeds. This, I hope, is going to work with what I've got but it should. I've never okay, seen go. someone rock go, go, go. Hotel California so hard in my life. That is, that's a New Zealander that loves his eagles right there. Heck yeah, America! We have made it in for the night after listening to some Hotel California out on the streets and some odd uh, Moroccan food. It was kind of like a Chipotle, but not Chipotle. So we went to the, sport, the sporting goods store. I asked the guy behind the counter, I was like, what do I need to get? I need, I need to feel me some New Zealand. He said, you gotta, have, you gotta have a good meat pie, sir. Didn't talk like that. I can't get the New Zealand thing down. It kind of feels like a good old, just a crisp Texas morning going out and get yourself a kolache with some coffee. <laughs> it's a good way to start out. The outdoor day. That's kind of what I, I'm equating it to over here. You're gonna get a meat pie in the morning. Woo! Tomorrow, y'all. This is the journey. We're gonna meet up with uh, JT's buddy, uh, Todd. Todd is a guide out here, and uh, I've never met him. Nothing vlog worthy. Nothing vlog worthy. <laughs> Had you free <laughs> free shipping code there. <laughs> yeah. I can't even. I can't show that. One eight hundred flowers. I'm gonna be in trouble. <laughs> How about 1-800-get-me-out-of-the-doghouse? JT has ordered flowers for his wife um, while we're gone. Yeah. Very smart. You should do that during hunts. You gotta prepare when you're gone that many yeah. days. Yeah, you're good. I'm gonna get some bottles of wine though. I'm gonna get those shipped back. I saw you can do that on the airplane. She'll never expect it, so I'm gonna be okay. Dude, Todd's awesome. He is uh, like a pack horse. With a big red beard. We're going to have three red beards out there. <laughs> and Wendy's going with us too. We're all going up there into the mountains together. It's going to be a crazy adventure. So we got to get our packs ready to go. Probably uh, going to be some rain. It's yeah. going to be the wet, a case of the wet butt. I'm going to brush my teeth. I feel like an old possum right now. 
We haven't brushed our teeth in like a day and a half because we've yeah. been literally traveling for that long. We have been talking about this for I don't know how many months, preparing, texting each other just about every day. We're at the moment. We're at the crest. It's time to go deep into Ready New Zealand. You'll kill us a tar. Come on, baby. Let's do it. All right, guys. Love you. We'll see you on the next episode. You don't want to miss it. Subscribe right here. We'll see you then.